Hello and assalamu alaikum viewers. This is your host Farhan Iqbal and you are watching News Point. So I am here with our weekly prediction for the forecast for the next draw. So we will take a look that when the next express entry draw is going to be, what kind of draw it is going to be, whether it is going to be a federal skilled worker draw or whether it is going to continue with the usual PNP followed by a CEC only draw. And when the draw is going to be and most important uh, what the forecast or what the cutoff is going to be in our opinion. We will take a look at the data and then make our decision on the basis of the data. So before we start today's video, if you still haven't subscribed to our channel, consider subscribing our channel as we share a lot of information on Canadian immigration and life in Canada on a regular basis. So looking at the data, first of all those who have a PNP that is for those who are more than 601, they are always in. If we look at the trend, the number of people have been reduced in this category as well. Uh, there were 482 people previously, this time there were 310 people. From the draw we know that 385 people were invited. So there has been a decrease of the number of people who got PNP in the last two weeks. For 501 to 600, uh, the number of people have been increased by 16. For 491 to 500, the number of people has actually reduced, which is a very big thing. This means that some of the people in this range were CEC and they got invitations, but more than likely very few new people have applied in this category from FSW program. That is why overall we are seeing a decrease. For 481 to 490, there is an increase of 51 candidates but i would say still this is a very minor increase as compared to the previous uh, two weeks for 471 to 480 there's an increase of 170 and again if you consider it or if you compare it with the pre prior two weeks this is a very small decrease if you look holistically from 471 to 600 earlier there were 5030 people and now there are only 5241 people only an increase of 211 this is really big thing because if you look just two weeks prior the increase was close to 900 people 461 to 470 again the number of people has actually reduced so 461 to 600 total increase is 144 451 to 460 the number has decreased 441 to 450 there is a decrease of 891 people so if we look overall from 441 to 600 there are only 29,000 people i should not say only but i am saying only because this is a decrease from the last two weeks and this is a decrease from last two months i would say this is a great news not only for cc people but for federal skilled worker people that the number of new profiles which are being created has considerably slowed down we know that prior to march every two weeks more than 3500 or more than 3000 profiles were created who had a score of 470 or higher because even when there were 4500 invitations were issued the crs score did not go below 470 that means more than 4000 people applied who had score of 470 or higher and then maybe four or five hundred had pnps my forecast is same as everybody else that the next draw would be on june 10 which is two weeks after the previous draw now which draw it would be that is very interesting if you had asked me this question at the end of march or at the end of april or anywhere in april i would have said that federal skilled workers draws would resume in june why because when the lockdown started happening in canada at that time in china the lockdowns were opening people had started coming back to routine life in mid-march so everybody thought that covid would last only like two months or two and a half months in canada and rest of the world as well and then it would be over the way it was over in china however unfortunately that has not happened the covid situation has improved a little bit in canada and us but overall still the numbers are quite high a lot of new cases are being discovered every single day considering that canada has extended its border closure with usa for another 30 days it was earlier announced i believe till end of may but then in the third or fourth week of may just around victoria day they announced that they are extended it by another 30 days so this means that border closure is still continuing 
and there are no signs of end of complete lockdown or coming back to normal life. So my forecast is that the next draw unfortunately would again be a CC only draw. This could be a great news for CC people who are even under 440 and not so good news for federal skilled worker people. However, I am discussing the future of federal skilled workers draws in my next video. Uh, I would encourage you to watch that. Uh, Okay, but in short, I would say that federal skill workers people do not need to lose hope yet. Now coming back uh, to the cutoff, since we are saying that the next draw would be a PNP followed by a CEC only draw, what would be the cutoff? So in the last draw, you noticed that the cutoff was 440 and the tie breaking rule was I believe somewhere in March, which was very recent. So I would say that most of the 440 people have also got the invitations. And the number of new profiles which are being created has been slowed down considerably. So earlier, a lot of CEC people were invited, uh, applying who even had a score of 470, 460, 480 even uh, in some cases. Now that has slowed down. So I believe more and more people would be picked only who are lower than 440. So I guess then the cutoff would drop significantly, maybe by seven or eight points. So anybody who is having more than 432 should be really hopeful in the CEC category that they would get an invitation during the next round. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you still haven't subscribed to our channel, consider subscribing it. Until next time, this is your host Farhan Ipal signing off. Assalamu alaikum.